Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for the last trading day of January, January 31st, 2023. Well, yesterday we had a little bit of uncertainty come into the market as we saw some profit taking ahead of just a slew of potential data that can move the market substantially. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a peek at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. So first off, taking a look right in here, um, as you guys know, I've had this wedge drawn on the chart here for some time. And well, doggone it, we have now created a lower high here in the Dow. So um, now the next question is, will we hold a higher low and continue building this wedge? If we were to push on through to the downside here and break this low, that's where things could get really, really ugly. So if you're a bull, you want to see this market hold right in this area. And you can see we're gapping a little bit lower here this morning, trying to get a little bit of bullish action here as some earnings roll out um, this morning. So watch that closely right in here. This is going to be a very important support level. If that support were to break, then we'd look for a retest of this trend right in here to see if that will hold hold as support. So if those bulls find, or excuse me, if those bears find inspiration, look for a test down into this area right in here, um, right off of that price support area of that little um, consolidation. And that will be a kind of a, well, maybe a nervous um, support test here in the market because we do have so much uncertainty coming in. And if that were to break and we were come down into this area right here to test that low, believe me, the market will feel a little bit of fear coming into the market. A break of that, and I would say all bets are off. Um, we could see some tremendous volatility and a wave of selling that could be a little bit painful. Now, if those bulls can find inspiration for today, well, where do we go? Well, I think there's a pretty good shot that if those bulls come back in, we'd at least come back up here and retest that resistance high and that um, downtrending line here in um, the chart. And if they can push on through there, well, then we look for a little bit higher out here. We start picking up some of these resistance levels here in the chart to see if we can break on through to the upside. So we've got kind of a critical day setting up here. And I think we're really overall, the market as a is at a decision point. Are we going to keep this bullish pressure to the upside? Or will those bears re-engage based on um, data? And who knows? Who knows what's going to happen here? What I would expect over the next several days is considerable price volatility. Intraday whipsaws, um, overnight reversals are likely to occur as we get these earnings reports out. We could see some very big price action moves and probably enough volatility to challenge even the most experienced trader. So I'm gonna caution everyone to be careful. Don't over trade this market. It's one of those that can just tear you up and um, um, take your account and just chew it to pieces and spit it out. So watch that carefully and closely. Try not to over trade this market. Um, if we take a look at our technicals, the selling yesterday really didn't create any major damage at all. As a matter of fact, at the end of the day, we were holding still above that 50 day moving average. So no technical damage. Uh, we are trying to break that a little bit this morning, but um, uh, and volume was low. So I don't think there was a major problem here yesterday yet. Um, we'll just have to wait and see. If we take a look at the SPY, um, same thing. SPY pulled back here a little bit. We had broken through that bearish downtrend, and now we gave it up here just a little bit. The question will be, will we follow through on to the downside? I think there is a little bit of price support, as you can see, right across this level in here. 
So if the bulls can step right back up and manhandle the bears here and push us right back, we're probably going to be in a pretty good situation because that would maintain that upside trend. However, if the bears gain the advantage today and push us on down through here, well then I would look for a re a, maybe a test down off of that little low area, uh, perhaps just a little bit lower in that area. And that's going to raise a little bit of nervousness in the market if that starts to occur so watch that close um, bullish side of things if they can push hard here on the bullish side of things well maybe a, a retest back up in here to test that last high um, in the chart um, would seem likely and maybe even a little bit higher as we start testing these peaks right here in our um, spy chart so watch that closely now on the technical front if we take a quick look here no damage was created here we're still holding above our 50 day notice our 34 EMA is crossing up through the 50 we've got a 50 that could be crossing up through the 200 here soon which is what they call the golden cross so we're right here at that decision point in the market will this be a bullish market will this be a bearish market and I think it's going to be largely dependent on how the market reacts to all this data coming over the next few days let's take a look at our QQ QQ. Also just a little bit of uncertainty there on QQQ but not nearly as rough as we saw in um, the diamonds or the or the spy. As you can see we are still holding above this downtrend break here in the chart. So if the bulls can use that downtrend break as a little bit of support and bounce off of that maintaining this trend I think we're in pretty good shape. If we see those bears push back down well that could be a little bit of a concern uh, for the market if they push back down through that. There would be some price support right in here and perhaps a little bit lower. But if we drop into there, you could see the market become a little bit nervous. So watch that close. And if those bulls can hold this area in here and find that inspiration, well, let's look for a retest of some of these points here in the chart. See if we can come up into there or even all the way back up to there. So look for some big price moves here as we um, try and decide how we're going to react to all of the data coming our way in the next few days. Uh, technically speaking, we're still in pretty good shape here on um, uh, the QQQ. We tested that 200 day now we're pulling back a little bit I will say of the indexes right now the QQQ is the most overextended in the short term and probably runs maybe the higher risk of additional selling coming in if those bears find any inspiration at all so watch that close and if we take a look at our IWM well the old Russell broke up here tested these resistance highs in the chart as you can see and we've backed away from it so this is a big level and you can see all of these points right through here um, it's a big level and we're going to need something um, some kind of inspiration to really push us up through there now the good news is the bulls continue to maintain this trend but you can see this morning we are right at that decision point are we going to hold this or will we slip back below that um, little trend here in um, the IWM. So looking at this, you can see a rally back up. Well, first thing we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to deal with these little resistance highs in here on any rally back up to see if we can punch on through those. If the bulls can punch on through those, then a retest up here would seem likely. And then above that, well, your guess is as good as mine, but I think there's some pretty good levels in here to still provide some, some substantial resistance to the IWM chart. Now, IWM continues to show that bullish uh, uh, move above the bear trend here. We're holding in there good. And for now, there doesn't seem to be any major fear here that IWM would sink hard. Now that does make me a little bit nervous because when we don't have fear in the market, when, when we're overconfident, let me say it that way, when we're overconfident that everything is going to be great heading into so many data points, 
then if we get disappointed, we can move quickly to the downside. So watch that closely. If we were to um, run into some trouble, you can see there is a little teeny tiny bit of price support on that low right here. But the next substantial level of price support would be here. That would be a big point move. So we're going to have to be pretty careful and be on our toes here um, in this market. Looking at our technicals here, you can see that would be that test of the 50 day moving average. And we also know that that's not uncommon for price action to retest levels like that. So if those bears find inspiration, we could see that quick trip lower. So watch that close. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now our VIX, for the first day and several days, we had a little bit of fear showing up in the market yesterday, but it wasn't enough to really concern me. As you can see here in the chart, we're still maintaining that downtrend. So when it comes to the VIX, the bulls are still in control. Now, if that continues to move up, let's watch some resistance levels here in that chart. If we were to push on through there, that could be a little bit of concern and breaking through that downtrend. But I don't think we're probably going to have any major problem here in the VIX until we see a breakthrough up here, break that resistance, and then prove to hold it. Um, so watch that closely and, and certainly we have the data this week that could do that if um, those if that if that uncertainty really picks up here in the market. Now keeping in mind that across this level in here, if those um, bulls continue to find that inspiration and continue to push, well maybe we're going to break some of these levels and move down in here. Now, one thing that you have to keep in mind that once we start breaking down into these lower levels, a bit of complacency may be working into the market. So that can mean some big point moves if we happen to stumble. Let's take a look at our T2122. Our T2122 indicator relieved some pressure yesterday. So that was a nice thing to see. We've been overbought, 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 overbought. And that has relieved some of that pressure. So as we run into these data points coming in here, you'll notice that we have opened up some upside opportunity if we can find that bullish inspiration. However, we also want to recognize the fact that if we find the bearish inspiration in here, that we could still relieve more of that pressure, uh, that, that bullish pressure in here with some selling or profit taking, pushing us back down toward that bearish reversal zone here in the chart. So, or excuse me, bullish reversal zone in the chart. So watch that closely. We've been a little extended and um, we may have a little bit of bear payback coming if they find some inspiration. If we look at our uh, T2108, T2108 also had a little bit of relief yesterday, but not so much relief, whoops. But not so much, um, you can see there, a little hook over, but not so much relief as it really broke anything down. So we still are maintaining a very elevated position here in T2108. And I continue to point out that we can do that for a little while, but you'll notice it's a rare occurrence when we're up this high and continue to push. So if those bears find any, um, any reason for pushing back, we could see a pretty substantial pullback in the market if that were to occur. So watch carefully in case that were to happen. If we look at our uh, T2107, T2107 also hooked over just a little bit, relieving some of that uh, buying pressure, but also we wanna take a look and just notice that we are also reaching some very extended positions here in the chart when we've got, um, well, 57, almost 58% of the stocks holding above their 200 day moving averages. So we're a little bit on that extended side. Let's take a look at our T2101. Now T2101 may not be giving us the best of data because volume was low yesterday. But you can see that uh, momentum kind of shifted and turned just a little bit. So we may be losing a little bit of that upside momentum from this extended position here in the market. And that would be not a big surprise with all the uncertainty that we have 
um, in this market going forward with so many data points. So what are you talking about? What about what's all the what's all the talk about all these data points? Well, if we take a look at our economic calendar, you can see that today we have the beginning of the FOMC. So one of the worries right here is what comes on Wednesday. And it's not uncommon to see the market hesitate or pause just a little bit heading into um, a data point like that. And I'm going to give you my two cents worth, but I don't know what's going to happen. So I think the FOMC is going to continue on. Um, the, the economic data that we have seen lately would suggest the FOMC is going to continue raising interest rates. So I would expect a 25 basis point increase uh, tomorrow. And then I kind of expect um, that Jerome Powell is going to be talking tough tomorrow. This big elevation in the market is working against him in uh, bringing down this inflation. And so you'll want to watch that closely because I think a hawkish Fed, um, a hawkish talk from the Fed and maybe increasing the ultimate target of where the Fed may be going could be possible in those comments. So I think there's some worry about that and that could create that little bit of bearish push to inspire uh, those bears to come to work. Now, this morning we're gonna deal with employment cost index. We're gonna have our Case Shiller in here. We've got a Chicago PMI, and we've got consumer confidence numbers that we can react to. And um, as you, again, plan forward, remember that um, uh, Wednesday morning, we've got a busy slate. We've got those mortgage applications, ADP, PMI manufacturing, ISM manufacturing, cons um, construction spending, job openings report, petroleum status, and that's all going to happen before that FOMC in the afternoon. Now, not only do we have that, we just have a huge number of earnings um, that are going to be coming our way over the next few days. So you'll want to keep a close eye on that. One of uh, the earnings this morning that was a notable that is already reported, we had uh, McDonald's and they actually posted strong results. But so far in the pre-market, we're seeing some selling here on Mickey D's. So you'll want to um, keep an eye on all of these reports. And if you want a a list of the notables for today. If you click the link just below the title of the video, that'll take you back to the morning blog for that list um, of notables and potential market movers that we have today. Another um, um, one that we're going to have to pay attention to after the bell is going to be AMD reporting. We're going to hear from Caterpillar today. Caterpillar, um, um, new record highs here in Caterpillar. We'll want to watch that. Looks like we got a little bit of bearish action coming in there on Cat this morning. We're going to hear from Corning today. Uh, we're going to hear from um, Electronic Arts. We're going to hear from Exxon Mobil. We've got General Motors that will be reporting today. Looks like they're seeing a little bit of bullishness here this morning. Maybe they reported well. We're going to hear from Juniper. We've got um, Mondelez reporting today. We're going to hear from Pfizer. We're going to hear from Snap. So as you can see, we've got quite a few reports in here that could move us substantially in the market. And um, it only ramps up more on Wednesday and Thursday. So you'll want to keep an eye on this. There's go there is the potential for a lot of volatility um, in our market for the rest of the week. Um, let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, just a quick reminder, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could do me that favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon that pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please also do me that favor and click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow. So thank you so much for everyone who does do that. Big shout out to those folks 
folks who share these videos on their social media feed and also for those folks um, who have supported the channel through the buy me a coffee link you guys are truly awesome thank you so much for your kind support to this channel let's take a look at some of these stocks that could be setting up um, and remember guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security as a matter of fact you're gonna have to do your own due diligence and be very careful this is not going to be a market for the faint of heart this is going to be a market over this week you're going to have to have some um, major confidence to trade because we could see some big intraday whipsaws and i would not rule out the possibility of some sub some substantial overnight reversals that could occur so make sure you have a plan to deal with some of this wild price action that we're seeing in the market now let's take a look um, you guys know i have mentioned uh, this stock generac um, a few times and there's generac nice little price pattern breaking up out of this downtrend here in the charts what we call a rounded bottom breakout pattern and as you can see we've got all of our moving averages starting to round up prices rounded up through that um, 50 day so i'd be looking for that next opportunity for generac to maybe pop on through and continue that upside move to the upside um, um upside move to the upside uh you know what i mean um then let's take a look at amazon um amazon as you can see amazon is also in that same pattern unfortunately amazon has got um, a report coming on thursday that could make this extremely dangerous and extremely volatile but when you see these kinds of patterns you want to be watching them very closely because they do tend to produce very good results um, for that upside trade and the the ultimate um, goal on these um, or ultimate target up here is up around 200 day moving average so they don't typically go straight up there for that 200 day they work their way up there in a methodical way but watch that closely um, a lot of these charts are starting to show up and do that um, so be careful um, I keep mentioning this OKTA and this guy it just keeps teasing us here um, it continues to look like there's that chance that this could break on higher and fill this gap but we we pop and drop it just continues to tease us um, as it extends this consolidation and by the way guys that's another thing we're going to have to be watching for if the market does turn into a bullish market just remember we rarely go up in a straight line what we'll start doing is we'll start um, spending a lot more time in consolidation in a bull market so if that's where we're going start watching for these possibilities of these longer consolidations and there's going to be a lot of these head fakes that occur let me go to a uh, a naked chart here so you can see this we'll see these extensions like this happen and then we'll get a pullback and we'll get some buying opportunity that shows up here and then the stock will either continue its downtrend or continue in the consolidation and um, it can take away a lot of profits really fast by um, expecting trends to maintain such a steep elevation in the charts so watch that close i'm going to continue to um, harp on gold and silver although we're finally getting a rest or pullback here on some of these um, stocks i would look for that next opportunity if gold and silver can find a support level in here and hold i would continue to point out um, things Things in our um, materials sector of the market US Steel very very strong resting consolidating back into here um, sets up that next opportunity and there's a lot of stocks in that sector looking good so watch that closely I'm also keeping an eye on stocks like CCJ some of those uranium plays that continues to extend it's not giving me that rest or pullback for an entry but something I want to be paying attention and watching for so because this video is getting a little long and I don't want to be kind of really encouraging a whole bunch of buying um, or selling today I'm going to cut off the video today and I'm going to wish you all fantastic results in your training be careful be safe have an awesome awesome day and I'll see you right back here right early Wednesday morning wish you all the best